While supply chain issues are making the holiday shopping season not much harder, but to make matters worse, scammers are now taking advantage of those sold out signs by setting up fake websites. CBS News' Anna Werner explains. Iowa high school senior Jace Leniger likes music, in particular artist Billie Eilish. He decided to buy himself a birthday gift of some of her new merchandise on what looked like her bona fide website. I started looking around and shopping. He bought a bundle he'd seen on Instagram with a sweatshirt, poster, and other items. Price tag, about $100. But when the transaction hit his bank account, he says it showed some $79, which he found suspicious. And so after that, I started to look up the website, look up reviews on the website, and there were over like a thousand people reviewing this website saying it's a scam, don't buy it, I haven't got my stuff in over half a year. We have seen a 2,000% increase over the past three months driven by the supply chain issues. LexisNexis Risk Solutions CEO Haywood Talkov says that equals over 5,000 fake sites, up from just 100 or so earlier this year. And Dave Hollister with the Secret Service Cyber Fraud Task Force says those criminals' fake sites, typically launched from overseas, are becoming increasingly sophisticated. They, you know, they... Um, they learn as they go, just like you and I. It's their job. But examine sites closely, he says, and there are often tip-offs, misspellings, grammar mistakes, links on the page that don't work, and a refusal to accept credit cards. These websites will often only ask for payment via a, a wire service, such as PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, places that where the transaction is put through, those monies are gone. And it's very unlikely, almost impossible for the consumer to get their money back. Well, experts estimate consumers will have $20 billion stolen by the end of this holiday season.